Why develop digital business model? Everything is being done digitally. Every organization go is going for digitization. So, in this digitization, how can I make money for my organization? So, we should have a digital business model. Business model, how am I going to earn the revenue, which will be more than the cost? So, business model. If it's being done digitally, then this is digital business model. So, why should I develop this digital business model? To deliver an incredible customer experience. Why should I deliver this incredible customer experience? Because I need repeat customers, loyal customers, advocate customers. Then they'll keep on coming back to me. They'll bring more customers to, to the organization and I'll be able to make money. So to turn this into a profit making proposition, to increase market share and to engage their employees. My employee will feel happy if everything is digitized. It's a matter of pride for everybody that yeah, I'm working with Google, I'm working with Amazon, I work with Walmart. Why? Because they do lots of with digital technology. So even the employee will feel more engaged if you have a digital business model. Now the question is that how does the, does the customer experience measure up? So there is a strong relationship between the customer experience and the revenue and the margins and the profits we know about it. So there is a strong relationship between the quality of firm's customer experience and the brand loyalty. If the customer is satisfied, will come back, will enhance the value of the brand which in turn increases the revenue. So this we understand and that's why we need this customer experience to be of higher quality, again higher quality and we want to add something to it every turn. And we need to measure it. We have lots of methods to measure it right now. This is not our focus how to measure the customer experience but we will be talking about it whenever required. Every business is a digital business. How? Let's see this. Twitter dominates the reporting of news and events as they are happening. We know about it. So, similarly, Facebook became the most powerful sharing network in the world. Similarly, location aware technologies track items through production and delivery to reduce wasted time and inefficiency in supply chain and other business to business transactions. What is happening? You may be aware about this Twitter thing. You may be aware about this Facebook thing and you may not be aware with the, of this location aware technologies. Wherever you are moving, it's being identified by Google. Google Maps are in a position to let you know where the traffic is smooth. How are they in a position to, to do so? Because they are in a position to track everybody on that road. It's location based technology. Similarly, wherever a vehicle is going, wherever a com community is moving, if it's being monitored, measured, then this is something known as location based technology. And then finally friends, the smartphones, tablets, other touch devices, and their applications reshaped how organizations interact with customers and how customers want business to interact with them. I don't want SMS. I want WhatsApp. Please don't send email to me. Please don't call me. Just send an SMS to me. Everybody is having a different preference. So if the organization is in a position to understand the preference of the customer and take a call according to the preference of the customer, then this is something known as value addition for customer experience. This is possible with the help of cloud computing. What is this cloud computing? We have already understood. So friends, a lot of things are happening because of this cloud computing. It's a resource acquisition 
as needed and without upfront investment. I have already shared with you that I don't need to buy a hardware, develop a software or buy a software, maintain that I don't want. It's like Ola or Uber. Whenever I need a vehicle, I give a call and the vehicle will be at my doorstep. I'll be using vehicle. So I'm a, I'm a king. Without investing so much, I still use a huge benefit. I still use a vehicle, which probably I can't buy. So this is something like cloud computing. This cloud computing is allowing us. We are free for buying those resources. So resources no longer dependent on buying. I want to use resources. I don't need to buy. I have already shared with you. And then friends, we have another aspect that is machine to machine technology. No human interface. What's happening? That your machine is in a position to communicate with other machine. How? That's a very simple example I like to give to you. That whenever you fire a print command from your personal computer, then the printer receives that command and prints the document. This we have experienced. So what's happening? Machine to machine communication. One machine is computer, another machine is printer. And one machine is giving command, another machine is following the command. This is machine to machine communication or machine to machine technology. Objects that connect themselves to the internet with sensor embedded devices are commonly referred as internet of things. Now, machine to machine communication when happening automatically, then we have another term IOT, internet of things means things which are connected to the internet are in a position to receive instructions or the message from internet and are also in a position to give message or information to internet. Obviously, if this is happening, then it's like a computer is commanding a printer to print something. So, printer is also in a position to give feedback to the computer that yeah, I have printed. And now both the machines are communicating. If it's being done, Maybe with, a, with wire or without wire, with a local area network or a wide area network or with the help of internet, maybe with the help of intranet. Then friends, this is machine to machine technology, M to M technology. This is an opportunity to show how digital business is happening. Initially, there was something known as silk route. This red line, which you are in a position to see and the screen is something known as silk route with the help of which traders used to take the silk and the spices from Asia to western world developed world and buy and uh, sell those things. But now this has changed. Now we don't rely on the silk route but we talk about the digital route. This is digital route, friends. Backbone is there in the air or at the bottom of the sea. Maybe in the air, maybe in the air or at the bottom of the sea. Are you in a position to see how this transformation is happening from silk route to e route? This all is happening with the help of big data. What is this big data? Big data is high volume mostly text data normally we say data means numerals but in information technology data means everything which can be digitized even the voice is data even the picture is data everything is data so big data mostly text data text data and high volume which need to be understood to find a pattern, to find a trend, to diagnose what is happening and how to do it is something known as data analytics. So studied by data scientists in the field of data science and the, what is this data science? Data science is managing and analyzing analytics, massive data sets of data for purpose such as target marketing 
whom should I focus? Where should I focus? Trend analysis, what's happening in the market? And the creation of individuals, tailored products and services. Who may be happy with what? So let me create a product or service for this particular person. So for this, we need some data, something known as data analytics, which will be done by data science. Finally, we have come to something known as SOMO Clow. What is this SOMO Clow? This is social mobile cloud. It is social, there is no doubt about it. It is mobile, you can use it whenever you are on move also. And it's related to internet or cloud based. So it's a huge data centers accessible via internet and it forms the core by providing 24 by 7 access to storage apps and services. This is something known as social mobile cloud. This is being done with the help of handheld or wearable devices. I hope you are aware that there is something known as Apple Watch. So with the help of this Apple Watch, you are in a position to communicate. So this is wearable. Handheld is a mobile, wearable is a Apple Watch. So handheld and wearable devices and their users from the edge of the cloud. They are at one end of the cloud. They are forming cloud or they are catering to the cloud and they are using. This is something social mobile a cloud. Social channels connect the core and edge, creating integration of technical and service infrastructure needed for digital business. Now this internet, those wearable devices, those handheld devices, hardware at the web's web level, server level, softwares and the connectivity, this all is creating something known as social mobile uh, cloud. This, this makes it possible to meet expectations of employees, customers and business partners. Even your business partner is in a position to expect something for you. He or she expects now that you should do something. Business partner, whenever we say business partner, we are obviously talking in terms of B2B uh, transactions, business to business transactions. So everybody is expecting something, but who will cater to them? This social mobile cloud. This provides customers interests and preferences to create new products and services and allows quick responses to change in usage pattern as they occur. Whenever something is happening, they are an opportunity to capture that and then allow you to know what is happening. So this is making possible to meet expectations of employees, customers and business partners, provides customer experience interest and preference to create new products and services and allows quick responses to change in usage pattern as they occur. This we have already understood. Mobiles are now an extension of individual's body and mind. What is happening? Your mobile is nothing but an extension of your body. It's like, you know, part of body. So th that's why we say it's an extension of individual's body and mind. That's why we say this mobile is so important. Social mobile cloud. How digital technology is emerging? So we have this timeline in front of us. What is this timeline? They say in 2008, Google launched Android mobile operating system to compete with iPhones. By 2014, became the first billion user mobile operating system. App Store opened on July 10, 2008 via, via an update to iTunes by mid-2011. Over 15 billion apps downloaded from App Store. Present data, I don't know, very huge. Obviously, we are talking about 2008. In 2010, Apple launched the iPad. 100 million iPads sold in two years. In 2011-12, no tough interfaces to communicate by simply gesturing or talking. Touch interfaces. The mobile is in a position to understand your voice command. So you are not struggling with the device. Device is in a position to respond to your needs. Microsoft's Kinect for Windows, Apple's Siri and Google Glasses. In 2014, what happened? iWatch released, which integrates with iOS devices. So this is something related to digital technologies released since 2010. In our book, the 
data is updated up to 2014. A lot of things are happening even after that. So you may go to any internet site and find what is happening nowadays. Or if you will need, then I can talk about that after line also. So friends, in this manner, we have completed this section 1.1 of the book, which is talking about every business a digit, is a digital business. After the end of every section, we have few questions. I'll insist that you read the questions at your end. Find the answers to those questions. If you're not in a position to find the answers to those questions, let me know. I'll help you out to find the answers to those questions. Such questions are really important for you because your examination paper may be based on such questions. Thank you very much for being with me in this section 1.1.